Where are you going? To no money down sale. Get out of here. Go. Go. Save up to $5,000 on new Mitsubishi. And vacations. Yes, vacations. Places with no money down. And vacations. Mac Mitsubishi, New Park Ave, Hartford. And vacations. Join us Thanksgiving Day for the 82nd running of the Manchester Road Race. Catch all of the pre-race activities and live race coverage starting at 9 a.m. on Fox 61. Happy Thanksgiving from Lux Bond and Green Jewelers and Tag Heuer, official timekeepers of the Manchester Road Race. With the Black Friday price guarantee at PC Richard & Son, gifting has never been easier. Why wait? Get Black Friday prices now, store-wide on hundreds of items. Shop in-store or online with in-store pickup. Get Black Friday prices now at PC Richard & Son. Get saving. Get gifting. Join the fun of the Manchester Road Race Thanksgiving morning in downtown Manchester or catch all the action on Fox 61 TV or WTIC AM and 104.1 FM. And thanks to our principal sponsors, Pratt & Whitney, proud sponsor of the Manchester Road Race 35 years running. Stop & Shop, proud sponsor of the 2018 Manchester Road Race. And Eastern Connecticut Health Network, ECHN, healthy is everything. Right now at Pilgrim, you don't have to choose between a king or a queen. You can get either one for the same low price. It's the king for a queen sale at Pilgrim Furniture and Mattress City. Wake up refreshed every day with this Beautyrest Silver King Size Mattress for the queen size price of just $9.99. That's a $400 savings, plus free delivery, free setup, and free removal of your old mattress. King Size Beautyrest Comfort for a queen size price. It's going on now, only at Pilgrim Furniture and Mattress City. The Fox 61 Morning News starts now. Right now at 7, a scary hostage situation in Hartford forces a closer look at how police respond to domestic violence calls. And plus, police in Fairfield say they could be making an arrest soon after the remains of multiple dogs were found in residence in a residence home. And as you are waking up this morning, we want to kick things off with a live look outside. You are looking at Hartford, uh, that Mohegan sunrise, just beautiful out there. If you haven't been outside just yet, you may want to grab the coat. But first, we want to say good morning to you and thank you so much for choosing the Fox 61 Morning News on this Sunday morning. I'm Aisha Bowen. Right now, we begin with those wildfires in California. They continue to devastate the area. Officials are concerned about air quality across the nation. So right now, you're taking a look at some smoky air near Golden Gate Bridge. Not only is air quality in parts of California areas being considered very unhealthy, but now we're learning that the smoke is traveling east, 3,000 miles east, in fact, already reaching New York City. Of course, that's our neighbor just right next to us, and meteorologist uh, Tim Levine is standing by in the Weather Center. Tim, can that smoke affect us right here in Connecticut? Well, of course, as long as that uh, as long as that smoke is mo uh, moving through the area, those with respiratory problems very well could be easily susceptible to the smoke. Now, again, just bear in mind that it has traveled a very long way, and a lot of the thickness of that smoke has dispersed. On top of that, uh, with high pressure building in, with precipitation coming in, uh, we're going to take a lot of that smoke out of the sky over the next a couple of days. So uh, again, the smoke won't be as huge a concern for our area, but on these days we get this stagnant high pressure overhead, you very well can get a lot of that smoke staying low to the ground and therefore uh, those with respiratory problems or illnesses very well could be susceptible to that smoke. Right now, temperatures still in the upper 20s across the northern part of the state. Mid-30s in the valley, we're not going to see temps warming up all that much today with a lot of cloud expected to develop throughout the afternoon and even a few afternoon flurries as well. Uh, winds out of the uh, north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour statewide. And I expect that that'll be the case throughout the day with a chance for some gustier winds later on into the afternoon. After this storm system moves through on Monday, we're going to be seeing the potential for some more accumulating snow on Wednesday very well could be problematic for travel heading into Tuesday morning. I'm forecasting the possibility of accumulating snowfall in our area. Coming up in the full forecast, we'll tell you just how much and where we'll see the big bullseyes and also uh, the big change in our temperatures coming for Thanksgiving. Aisha. 
Officials have now identified the man who was shot and critically wounded by a Hartford police officer on Friday. Police say a, uh, that suspect held a woman hostage at knife point during a domestic dispute. As Fox 61's Esther Catro has more information on just how dangerous domestic violence situations can be for law enforcement and everyone involved. We spoke with a Connecticut coalition against domestic violence who say that domestic violence situations are a lot more common than you may think, and they can affect anyone. We just told these right right now, 422 Dodge Street, the emergency. This man at my house got my own lady hostage with a knife. Hartford police officers Michael Bodner and Chris White got to the scene at a Garden Street apartment and came face to face with a Hartford man, 39 year old Dennis Lawrence. He is accused of holding a woman hostage at knife point. Officers asking him multiple times to drop the knife as heard over dispatch. Then that police say Officer White shot the man, and he is now undergoing surgery at St. Francis Hospital. This happened Friday at around 11 a.m. Both officers were not physically injured. The Hartford Police Union president released this statement to us, saying, Domestic-related incidents are one of the most dangerous calls for service a police officer encounters as a suspect's high level of emotion often leads to unpredictable results. Members of the Hartford Police Department consistently train for these types of calls and are extremely successful in resolving situations to ensure the safety of those involved, especially the victims. Victims love their abuser. They just want the abuse to stop. Liza Andrews with Connecticut Coalition Against Domestic Violence says while guns are the most commonly used weapon in intimate partner violence homicides, both in Connecticut and nationwide, knives are second. The state is averaging 14 intimate partner homicides a year, and over 80% of those victims are women. It is about power and control. It can represent a danger for the police officers that are responding as well because they represent that authority that can take away the power and control of the abuser very quickly. Liza says abusers tend to isolate their victims from friends and family, so they do have a 24-7 hotline that you can reach all across the state. We'll have that number on our free Fox 61 News app. Esther Castro, Fox 61 News. And this morning, we are learning one man is in custody following a car and foot chase in the capital city. Hartford police arrested Jose Rivera Cruz after a chase from Bond Street to Columbus Boulevard on Saturday. So police say he was in possession of a firearm. Rivera Cruz was arrested three weeks ago in the same area with a rifle, stolen handgun, heroin and other drugs as well. Right now, we know he faces several charges this morning, including reckless driving and criminal possession of a gun. Rivera Cruz is currently being held under a $1.2 uh, billion uh, million dollar bond there. And a crash in Hartford kills at least one person. Crews responded on Main Street and Maver Street late Friday night. 47-year-old Yolanda Santiago of Hartford was rushed to St. Francis Hospital and she later died. Now we know that she's a passenger in one of those cars. The drivers of both cars were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. And state police say a man is in critical condition after apparently falling out of a bucket truck on Saturday afternoon. Tall and Fire and EMS responded to the the incident where a 45 year old man fell from a bucket truck while conducting maintenance to an overhead canopy on Merrow Road. Now we know just before 4 30 uh, 4 30 p.m. Lifestar transported the man to Hartford Hospital where he is being treated. Witnesses of the accident are asked to contact state police. And this morning, we're learning an arrest could be coming soon in Fairfield after dead dogs were found in a woman's home. Fairfield police say they are preparing an arrest warrant right now for this home on Prince Street. Police were called to the home last week. Wednesday after the landlord found the remains of at least five dogs. Investigators say they will not reveal the suspect's identity at this time until the arrest warrant for animal cruelty charges has officially been signed. So officials say the dog was left in crates and apparently they were uh, they appear to be abandoned and state police investigating a serious crash in Putnam. Police say it happened Saturday afternoon in the area of Route 44 and Tucker Road. Both drivers were brought to the uh, UMass Hospital for serious injuries Police say at least one of the victim's injuries are considered life-threatening right now. Anyone who saw the crash or saw what happened is asked to contact State Police Troop D.
And as we are headed into the holiday season, people are getting ready to take those annual holiday photos. And with pets, it is no different. Furry family members are invited to the West Farm Mall to take pictures with Santa this morning. Fox 61's Taylor DiCello, she is live at the mall for us this morning in Farmington for all the fun. Taylor, we saw you holding a pup earlier. Who do you have with you right now? Aisha, I told you he would be here. Santa is actually here. He made it all the way from the North Pole this morning. How was your flight over here, it Santa? It was good. It was a good flight. Um, Excited to be here? Very much. Well, welcome much. to Connecticut, Santa. And Santa's right now is holding Rosebud. I was holding Rosebud earlier while she was patiently waiting in line. And Daisy, Rosebud's sister. So you can bring your pet down to West Farms Mall from 7 to 9 this morning. It's a pre-mall opening event. And you can come have your pet's picture taken with Santa. And the photographers make sure that they, <laughs> they sit nice and calm and they put smiles on their faces. It's a lot of fun. This is Daisy and Rosebud's dad, Mark. Mark. So, Mark, Hi. you take their pictures every year. Yes, yes, we do. We come down here. It's a regular family tradition. It yeah. is. It's a lot of fun. Why do you get your dog's pictures taken with Santa? Oh, they're fantastic pictures. I mean, it's, it's a great surrounding, friendly people and everything, and their pictures come out really great. It's, uh, and we get a couple for hang on the Christmas tree. It's oh. very delightful. It is. It's a great way to start the holiday season. Oh, yes, yes it is. <laughs> yep, we well, love it. Thank you so much, Mark. The line is starting to get long. Pets, pet owners are bringing in their pet furry animals to come and take pictures with Santa this morning. So come on over from 7 to 9 at West Farms Mall. You'll take a picture right in front of Santa's sleigh. I'm live at West Farms Mall. Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News. All right, Taylor, we'll check in with Taylor in just a couple of minutes or so. But right now, 710, still to come, the latest details on that migrant caravan making their way towards the U.S. border, what the president is now saying in less than five minutes. And also still to come at 8, we'll get to check in with Danbury Mayor Mark Boughton. He'll get us all caught up with what's going on in his town right now. Tim. And the core of cold air moving in for Thanksgiving. We're talking about temperatures that unfortunately are going to break records and not in the warm way. Record cold on the way. We'll talk about that coming up. Nine one one. What is your emergency? The whole mountain just came down into our house. Let's go. Let's go. I love this job. First responders run towards the danger to be the first one there to help. I have a suspect about to be in need of medical attention. Only two episodes left of 911 this fall. Don't miss an all-new episode Monday on Fox. Tis the season for sibling rivalry.